everybody, it's Miss Sarah. Today we're going to do a, a video um, for dancers who naturally roll in on their ankles. Um, it's called supination. Um, and oftentimes doctors want to um, operate via surgery um, on, to fix it, to correct this, or um, put some sort of shoe insert um, in the dancer's shoe. Both of which are up to your doctor, um, but these are just some exercises that I have found that are helpful in reminding dancers, particularly when they're dancing, but also in everyday life, um, to help correct this problem. All you'll need today is a ball. Okay, so you're gonna start with your feet parallel, right next to each other with just enough space to put a ball. Um, a tennis ball works best, but I have a little um, muscle roll ball heel here. So you're gonna put it between your ankles, and all you're gonna do is squeeze the ball and as you squeeze the ball, you're going to rise up. So we go up, and it helps if you have a bar. And coming back down, don't lose that ball. And up, and down, and up. This is also great to prevent sickling, because if you sickle, you're going to lose the ball. So, and we'll do that probably depending on the age of the dancer and the strength of the dancer probably eight to 16 times, just going up slowly and down slowly. Up slowly and down slowly. And after you do that eight to 16 times, you can remove the ball, step one foot back, bend your front knee and stretch out that back. It's called your gastrocnemius, your calf muscle. And then you can bend both, stretch out that Achilles tendon, roll out that foot a little bit, and do the same thing on the other side. One foot back, bend the front knee, stretch out that calf, bend the back knee, stretch out the Achilles, and then roll it out a little bit. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do is called doming your arch. So for little kids, I like to put um, a sticker or something on their arch. I use the marker and just put a little star on my foot because I don't have any stickers at my house. Um, and what you're gonna do is try and pretend like that sticker is gonna touch the bone in your foot. So you're gonna kind of suck it up and then relax. Suck it up and relax. And you'll see your toes are kind of scrunching up a little bit. Another thing that you can do is take a dish towel or a blanket and kind of scrunch with those toes if they're not understanding the concept of doming and relaxing. Doming and relaxing. Doming and relaxing. And again, I would say eight to 16 times depending on the age of the dancer and their strength. And make sure you do both feet. This next one I would do standing, but I'm gonna show you sitting for learning purposes. So again, with the sticker on the bottom of your foot, you're gonna kind of go show my sticker, hide my sticker, which on most people's, most dancers' feet who roll in, um, you won't see any space here like you can with mine. So you're gonna go show my sticker, which would probably be their correct position. I'm rolling backwards, but their correct position would be show the sticker, don't show the sticker. Show the sticker, don't show the sticker. So you wanna make sure but your sticker is not too far in the foot that you're rolling all the way this way. It should just be slight. Show and hide. Show and hide. And most, again, most dancers with that roll in are like this naturally. So you're gonna go show it and hide it. Show it and hide it. And you can even go good and bad. Good and bad. Good and bad. And I would start I would start by not bearing any weight on that foot that you're working on until they get the concept. And once they get the concept and have done it a few times to strengthen that ankle already, then you can add some weight to it just to gain more strength. Okay, this last exercise is the one I was explaining before. Um, so you need a towel of some sort. This is just the kitchen towel for me. Um, and you're gonna lay it out nice and straight. What you're gonna do is take your toes, stick it on the edge, and scrunch your toes up. And you can see I'm working that, um, the arch muscles. You can also pick up marbles, pick up Legos, clean your room with your toes. So you're going 
out, grab, and scrunch. So this is helping, this helps younger dancers who haven't yet understood the concept of doming the arch. Um, it basically does that in a, in a fun way. And you can do relay races with that, um, race each other at home, mom against daughter, dad against daughter, who can scrunch the towel the fastest to help me get fun. Let me know if this video helped you. If you want more exercises, check out our pre-point videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.